So in the last video, we've been um, solving simultaneous equation using substitution method. In this last video on that topic, we are going to take it a step higher. I think the best way to explain it as always is to take an example. Find the unknowns. 2x minus 3y equals to 4 minus 4x plus 5y equals minus 2. Now remember, you want to label the equation. Now, like previous questions we've taken, um, if you look at all the variables, none of them has 1 or minus 1 as coefficients. This has 2, this has minus 3, this has minus 4, this has 5. So you see that it's a step higher than what we've been doing. So it doesn't matter. You, you, you don't have any preference. You just pick any, any of the equations. And if you do it correctly, you are going to get it. Um, get the answer right. So let's do this. So I can have from equation one, from equation one. So equation one says 2x minus 3y equals to 4. Now remember, you want to make one of the variables the subject of the formula. So we'll be having minus 3y, we go to the other side. So I'll be having 2x equals to 4. When minus 3y moves to the other side, becomes plus 3y. Now please don't add these two things, you can't add them up. So, but what we want to make the subject of the formula is x, not 2x. So to make x the subject of the formula, we divide both sides by 2. So 2 year 1, 2 year 1. So I'm left with x equals to 4 plus 3y all over 2. Now I hope you understand it to this point. So we can now have put x equals to 4 plus 3y all over 2 in equation 2, which is the second equation in this case. Now let's solve the remaining here. So I'm going to write equation 2. Equation 2 is minus 4x plus 5y equals to minus 2. So anyway, I see x, I'll call it 4 plus 3y all over 2. So I'll be having minus 4 into brackets, 4 plus 3y all over 2. Then I have plus 5y equals to minus 2. I hope you understand it. Now 2 can go in 4. Now remember, bracket is the same thing as times. So I have 2 year 1, 2 year 2. So I'm having minus 2 into bracket 4 plus 3y. Then we have plus 5y equals minus 2. Let's open this bracket. Minus 2 times 4 will give us minus 8. Minus 2 times plus 3y will give us minus 6y plus 5y equals minus 2. Now we have minus 8. Minus 6y plus 5y will give us minus y equals minus 2. Minus 8 can go and meet minus 2. We collect like terms. So we'll be having minus y. Don't forget that the sign of y is minus. Equals to minus 2. When minus 8 goes to the other side, it becomes plus 8. Minus y equals to minus 2 plus 8 is 6. And remember, I'm trying to find y, not minus y. So I have to divide both sides by minus 1. So which means minus cancels minus. I'm left with y equals to 6 divided by minus 1 is minus 6. Do you understand this? Now to find x, we put y equals to minus 6 in equation. It is in either 1 or 2. So I put in equation 1. So I'm having 2x minus 3y equals to 4. Remember I told you, you always write the equation first before you substitute. So I'll be having 2x minus, anywhere I see why I call it minus 6. So 3 into bracket minus 6 equals to 4. So I'll be having 2x minus 3 times minus 6 will give me plus 6 times 3 is 18. So I'll be having 2x plus 18 equals to 4. Now I need to collect like terms. So if I collect like them, I'll be having 2x equals to 4. When 18 goes to the other side, it becomes minus 18. So 2x equals to 4 minus 18 should give me minus 14. To find x, I divide both sides by 2. 
two year one two year one i'm left with x equals to two year one two year seven which will give me minus seven which implies that x equals to minus seven y equals to minus six i hope you understand this so we have 7v minus 2s equals minus 1. 2s minus 4v equals minus 2. Remember, the first thing you want to label is 1 and 2. Now, if you look at this question too, we don't have any variable with um, 1 as coefficient or minus 1. So it doesn't matter what equation you take. So to show you that it doesn't matter what equation you take, I'm going to say from equation 2 just to make things um, a bit interesting so let's do this so we have solution from equation two now remember i always tell you to always write that equation so we have 2s minus 4v equals to minus 2. now I, I make x the subject of the formula now the reason i pick s is because if you look at the coefficient of s is positive 2. the coefficient of v is negative 4. It's easier to work with positive number than it is to work with negative numbers. All right. So let's do this. So 2s minus 4v goes to the other side. I'll be having minus 2. Write what you have here first. Plus 4v. Now remember, I told you in the last question, you are trying to make s the subject of the formula, not 2s. So you have to divide both sides by 2. So I have two year one, two year one. I'm left with S equals to minus two plus four V all over two. Now this is perfect. So the next step is to put S, put S equals to minus two plus four V all over two in equation one. Can you see? Because we started with equation two. So can we do this? So remember, you four of all write the equation. So equation two is, equation one, sorry, is 7v minus 2s equals to minus 1. So anywhere I see s, I call it minus 2 plus 4v all over 2. So I'll be having 7v minus 2 into brackets minus 2 plus 4v all over 2 equals to minus 1. Now, luckily for us, in this case, also 2 can go in 2. So I have 2 year 1, 2 year 1. Now, if it's that the denominator cannot um, cut whatsoever that is multiplying the bracket, all you need to do is to multiply through by that denominator. I think we've done it in previous um, examples. So let's do this. So we have 7v. Now we are left with minus 1 here. Be careful with the sign. So we have minus 1 into brackets minus 2 plus 4v equals to minus 1. Let's open this bracket. We'll be having 7v minus 1 times minus 2. Minus times minus will give us plus 2. Minus 1 times plus 4v will be having minus 4v equals to minus 1. Let's collect like terms. So we can have 7v minus 4v plus 2 equals to minus 1. 7v minus 4v will give me 3v plus 2 equals to minus 1. Plus 2 goes to meet minus 1, so I'll be having 3v equals to minus 1 minus 2, plus changes to minus. Let's do the remaining on this side. So we'll be having 3v equals to minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3. To find V, we divide both sides by 3. 3 year 1, 3 year 1. So I'm left with V equals to 3 year 1, 3 year 1, minus 1. I hope this is understandable. Now let's find S. We say put V equals to minus 1 in any of the equation. Or let me say in equation 1. I can use any equation. So equation 1 is 7V minus 2S equals to minus 1. Anywhere I see V, I call it minus 1. So I'll be having 7 into bracket minus 1 minus 2S equals to minus 1. 7 times minus 1 should give me minus 7 minus 2S equals to minus 1. Then collect like terms. Minus 7 comes to meet minus 1. 
the sine of 2s here is minus 2s equals to minus 1. When minus 7 crosses the equal to sine, it becomes plus 7. I hope you understand this. So I'll be having minus 2s equals to minus 1 plus 7 will be 6. So I'm going to divide both sides by minus 2 to find s. So minus 2, minus 2, minus cancels minus 2, cancels 2. I'm left with s. 2 year 1, 2 year 3. 3 divided by minus 1 will give me minus 3. So which implies that v equals to minus 1, s equals to minus 3. Now, I hope you understood everything I've taught you perfectly. Um, if you do, let's take exercise.